Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for church. One thing have I desired for, that will I seek after, is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, uh, to behold his beauty, and of course to inquire from his sanctuary. Hallelujah. And we come here to inquire, we come here to be directed of the Lord, uh, to be ordered of the Lord, which way we should go, uh, which way we should follow. Amen. We have been having wonderful times and talking about the name uh, that is uh, powerful that God said he'll give. Uh, He has made uh, David a name uh, like the name of every great man that ever lived on the face of the earth. And that is the desire of every child of God. Uh, The desire, it is not only to be in the kingdom uh, of God. And when I'm talking about the kingdom, it is not, uh, I'm talking about Uh, When people say when they die, on the other side, they say on the other side. Uh, But even on this side is where we need a good name. On this side we need also a great name. Uh, Praise the name of the Lord. On the other side all of us will be equal. There will be no one who will be greater than the other. And I I have been studying uh, the word of God, going through the facets of scriptures. uh, How God works and how God operates. Uh, They have always been prevalences with God. And uh, God has always, it could be like John himself, uh, talking about Jesus Christ, that he said that he that comes after me is preferred. In the book of John, the first chapter, and first number, uh, first number 15, <clears throat> we'll find uh, there's a first of scripture that the Bible says, John bear witness of him and cried, saying, this was, the, he, this was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. In other words, there is that prevalence uh, when it comes to the operations of God. Uh, You may say that all of us are equal in the eyes of God. Yes, we are equal in the eyes of God. But you'll find out there are some people that are preferred than others. Uh, There are some people that are preferred uh, when it comes to the economy of God. There are some people that are given, as we say, a name. Uh, Praise the name of the Lord. It is not everybody that is given that name that is greater. uh, But it is an individuals or individuals that are preferred uh, of the Lord. And you'll find. uh, So John is saying that he that I have been speaking about and bear witness he is preferred before me. In other words, uh, when it comes to seniority and to greatness, he is preferred. He is more greater than I am. And uh, you'll find in the book of... uh, uh, still talking about God prevailing uh, in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Lomas, uh, the ninth chapter and verse number eleven, the Bible says, "For the children, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, but the purpose of God according to election might stand." Now I would like you to note that this prevalence is according to God's ordained plan. Uh, it doesn't just happen. It is something that is planned of God, something that is preordained of God. And uh, so the children not yet born, not having done any evil or any good, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, uh, not of works, but of him that calleth. First number 12 says, it was said unto her, the mother now, the Rebecca, the Rebecca, the mother of these two boys, Jacob and Esau, the Bible say, the elder shall serve the younger. Now, in my Bible, there's a center column reference, and that word uh, elder, it has a number, and in the center column reference, it says uh, number, number, number three, it talks of greater. And number four, the younger now, it also has a number four there, it means a lesser. So you'll find the elder is called the greater and the younger in the Bible is called the lesser. And that is less. In other words, when it comes to the economy of God, there is the greater and there is the lesser. And uh, we need to establish through the word of God uh, that God works in ways 
that, that, that he will lift individuals. He will elevate individuals from one greater level to another. And uh, he doesn't lift everybody else. And that is why David was privileged when God said, I have made you a name. Because that was not a privilege given to everybody else. Uh, it was a privilege given to him and a few others great on the face of the earth. It was not given to everybody else. And you'll find again, uh, when Joseph took his boys, uh, Ephraim and Manasseh, uh, to his father Jacob, in the book of uh, uh, Genesis, the 48th chapter, I believe it is, Genesis, the 48th chapter, and, and Jacob, and uh, Joseph takes his two boys, verse number 17, I believe we may, if we may stand there, the Bible says, And when Joseph saw that his father laid his light hand upon the head of Ephraim, and he displeased him, and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head and to Manasseh. I'd like you to note that. Uh, first uh, Genesis 48, first number, first number 13. Uh, there is a first of scripture, first number that is. And Joseph took both of them, Ephraim in his right hand, towards uh, Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand. Because remember, uh, uh, this Manasseh was the firstborn. Uh, so he had to be laid his hands, Jacob had to lay his hands upon the light hand upon Manasseh. Because Manasseh was the firstborn. Uh, that one we said in, in Romans that the elder and the younger, uh, the greater and the lesser. Uh, so there is that distinction, there is that separation. And God is saying, that when in the economy of God, in, in the economy of God, you find out that the lesser is always changed to be the greater. And the greater becomes the lesser. And you find here Ephraim and Manasseh. Uh, Manasseh uh, was the firstborn. Uh, so the blessings of the firstborn were supposed to be on Manasseh, not on Ephraim. That is why even in Joseph, knowing that, he had to make sure he holds Manasseh on his light left hand so that he can be on the right hand of Jacob. And uh, he holds Ephraim on his right hand so that he can be on the left hand of Jacob. So that when he is blessing them, the lesser will be on the left hand of Jacob and the greater will be on the right hand of Jacob. But this is what Jacob did. He changed his hands. He changed he, 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 when he, now he was told, here are your sons, uh, the, my sons that you said you want to adopt to be your children. Then he said, I want to bless them. But of course, in the economy of men, it was to be, the right hand will be on Manasseh. And the left hand will be on Ephraim because he was the lesser. But in the economy of God, no. The, the, young, the, the elder shall serve the younger. The greater shall serve the lesser. The blessings that is supposed to be of the elder, of an elder brother, went to the second born, the, el the younger. And when Jacob was praying, he changed his hands. Hallelujah. And uh, he said, first number 17 now, first number 18, the Bible say, now, and Joseph said unto his father, not so my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy light hand upon his hand. And uh, Joseph is trying to coach his father and the, and, uh, the verse number 19 and his father refused and said I know it. Remember he was blind. I'd like you to know that time Jacob was blind. He could not even see. He was blind but in the spiritual he was seeing. He was yielding himself to the spirit of God and God led him and he said I know. I know, my son, I know it. He, he shall become a people. He said, even this is the firstborn, he shall become a people and he shall be great. But, truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. Now, God is saying, this is Jacob who is a type of God. He is saying, I know what I'm doing. I know I'm laying my right hand on the younger and it's not supposed to be like that. 
But he said, the firstborn, he is going to be greater. The, 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 the firstborn, he said, and he shall also be great. He shall be great. I like you to know saints of God. God in a, look at look at we'll come back here. Look at a statement in the book of Zechariah, the twelfth chapter and first number eight. God is saying through Prophet Zechariah that the the least among them, the weak, the feeble, the weak, the feeble, uh, the weak among them. Uh, if I may lead part B, and he that is feeble among them. At that time shall be so God you find in every disposition he has people that he prefers and he want to lift them higher lift them higher he elevates so many he leaves others and and you come to another disposition you find another person is operating on another level and God is saying about going back to uh, Ephraim and Manasseh he say the firstborn will be great not that like God said Esau have I loved and Jacob no Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated not that God hated Esau to kill him no it is loving less in other words Jacob had a bigger calling Jacob was going to do a greater work than Esau not that God hated Esau, but the commitment, the responsibility, and the opportunities that were going to be granted to Jacob were greater and higher. Are you getting what I'm saying? The responsibility he was going to be given were greater higher than those of Esau. Not that Esau was not going to be blessed. He was blessed. He was blessed and he had the favor of God. But he said, Jacob have I loved meaning he was going to have more responsibility more blessing more elevation and more anointing and god gave him a name and that name was named uh israel he said i've given him a name i've made him a name more and greater than that of esau and God is saying that I have made a name. Uh, Ephraim will be powerful. Ephraim will be great. But his brother Manasseh will be greater than he. You find out God is he's the one who is making this choice. It is God. It is not even Jacob. Jacob is just yielding to the leading of the spirit. And he said, I know my, my son. I know it. He said, I know it. He shall he also shall be a people, become a people. And he also shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. Look at that. All of them are great, but there is one that is greater. And that is why we said God making you a name. God separating you from everybody else. God setting you aside. All of us, we are the children of God. All of us, we are saved and born again. But God has his discretion to set some aside and give them a greater anointing. A greater responsibility. A greater and a higher office in the operations of God. God has that duty. It is his and men cannot question they try to ask but how can you do this uh, and the bible says who art thou O man but you ask him you ask god what doest thou hallelujah he said has not the porter power over the clay to make one vessel and to honor and another vessel and to dishonor but he said and these vessels all of them they are from the same lamp that are from the same lamp of clay. But the, 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 the porter have the final say. He decides. He has the final. And that is why he's saying, this one will be great, but the other one will be greater than he. That is God who makes that decision. 
And that is why we don't fight among ourselves. When my brother is greater than I, I know who can receive anything except the Lord give it to him. Who can be anything unless the Lord make him to be? Who can be in any position unless the Lord put him there? And once we understand that, then we learn to accept each other. To compliment each other. What you don't have, I have it. What I don't have, you have it. And we become a body of Christ. He shall be great, but his younger brother, look at this. Go with me to the book of Matthew, the 11th chapter. The Bible says, this is Jesus who is talking. Matthew, the 11th chapter, and verse number 11. This is Jesus who is talking himself. He said, Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, there have never risen a greater than John. This is, this is Jesus. I'd like you to know that. This is not Brother Benaiah. This is not even a prophet talking about it. Some from a prophet from the bush or from nowhere. But, but, but this is Jesus saying it. That among them that are born of women, they have never ever risen any greater than John. Hallelujah. Never risen any greater and God has always elevated his work from one level to another. 